up? It's your girl Diva and welcome back to Diva's house. So it's another week of shopping my stash and putting it to use. So if you guys want to see what I used on my face this week, stay tuned. You don't want to miss out. It's Diva's house. Tutorial Friday, and again, please forgive your girl Diva because, of course, I did not shoot this look. Um, it's been one of those kind of weeks where it was like I was very tired this week. My husband was off, and it makes it very hard to, for me to shoot a tutorial. And whenever I do these makeup looks, it's for when I go to work. So, yeah, I'm usually not fully dressed so sitting in front of the camera and taping dressed is not on my menu in the morning plus then I have to get baby girl up and ready so I try to do my makeup as quickly as possible but charge it to my head and not my heart that I did not shoot you guys a tutorial hopefully next week I promise you promise you promise you I should be able to shoot a tutorial and bring it to you guys something summary and something fun and it's gonna utilize my stash but anyway for my face of the day, all of my goodies are in this basket. And make sure you go check out my other collab partners in their videos for their face of the day or their tutorials. Um, of course, this video collab includes not only myself, but the lovely lady who started all this, Coils of Love, Cupcakes and Makeup, Shay3179, IFY, and Just Sonetta. All of my YT North sisters, their links will be down below for you to go check them out on their respective channels. Make sure you tell them that your girl Diva sent you over. So let's dive into the items that I use. So actually, first, let's take a deeper look into this look. So you guys know whenever I go to work, I keep my looks very, very neutral. But I was feeling a little fleeky today. So I went more with a champagne eye, and y'all see that glow is just popping. Like, y'all can see me a mile away. Come on now. And those lips, pretty in pink. So let's dive back out. Alright, so let's get into this basket of stuff. Well, my diva tray of stuff. So... And Coils will tell you, whenever she watches my videos, she usually knows what palette I'm going to dip into and take out for you guys to see that I've used it's normally my Vice 3 palette. Well, no, my Vice 4 palette. But this look was brought to you by my Vice 3 palette. So, yeah, I dug this one out of the drawer and I didn't have to dig very far. And I used Downfall, Defy and last sin out of this palette so when this palette came out of course it was the bomb and as of every vice palette um i just think that they're the bomb the only vice palettes that i do not have is vice one and two of course and uh i have vice four i didn't get the vice limited palette that came out after that one just because of financial stuff I had other important things to do. But I see the Spectrum palette is still available on Sephora. And the price has gone down on that palette. So if they still have that Vice Limited palette, I'm going to have to take a look and see if the price has gone down or your girl needs it. Otherwise, I'm going to get that Spectrum palette because it's like $29. So this is the one time I'm glad I waited because I bought all of my Vice palettes when they were full price. And then every time afterwards, they went down to like $20 something dollars. So miss me with that one. I think I'm going to try to get that one now. Anyway, let's move on. Of course, with my beautiful glow came from the Becca Champagne Glow Palette, which I am absolutely in love with. And you guys know, um, she's coming out with the blush duos that have the same blush colors in here in 
you know, the round little pod things with one other color called Hyacinth. And they're either paired with Champagne Pop or um, Prosecco Pop. So I know the Hyacinth color is paired with Champagne Pop. So if you just weren't ever able to get your hands on Champagne Pop or you weren't able to get your hands on this, those blush duos will be out soon and you can get your hands on the duo of blush and Champagne Pop together. Now, again, I was talking to Coils about this. We were kind of disappointed to some degree. We were hoping that there were going to be more blush colors because this has all three blush colors that are coming out in those duos and like I said Hyacinth is going to be another color with Champagne Pop but um I might invest in that one Hyacinth because it's the one color that doesn't come in this um face palette so I really think that color is going to be really really pretty I wish it was with Prosecco Pop versus Champagne Pop but hey whatever I didn't come up with it it wasn't me so anyway, on to what else I use on my face. So I dug out an oldie but goodie, and it's my MAC Pro Long Wear Nourishing Waterproof Foundation. Absolutely love this. You guys have seen this in my haul video a long time ago. I actually told you guys I wore this in Aruba, and I loved it, and it stood up pretty well. Has it been standing up to Atlanta heat? For the most part, yes. But of course, I still sweat, and I think I'm really sweating a lot more so because this hair is kind of heavy. I'm not going to lie, so it's driving that heat on me. But it has been really hot here in Atlanta, so of course I'm going to get that little bit of sweat. sweat. But I just dab, and I make sure I spray a lot of my settings around my face. And it has, doesn't, not too much of this comes off of my face, and it still looks really good at the end of the day. And I really like this um, foundation. It's very lightweight on my face. Um, so what else did I use today? Of course, I used my Black Opal True Color in Suede Mocha to contour. My trusty, dusty MAC Prep and Prime. This is the coconut one. And you guys can see, I use a lot of the bottles I have. I'm going to need to re-up very, very soon. Um, my Dewy Finish Setting Spray from NYX, which I think I've been using this because I don't have any Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray which I need to re-up on, so I've been using that. And that's almost finished also. Of course, my Ellen Girl Pro Concealer in orange to correct. My fawn one is on the table, but I haven't been using that one, so know that I just haven't been using that one. I've been trying out um, the concealers from Kat Von D, not the new ones, the old ones, because I've been into um, her foundations. So I wanted to try out the concealers. Of course, as always, my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Primade in Chocolate. My NC42 Studio Concealer for my brow bone highlight. And on my lips, we have an interesting combo. So it's this ColourPop pencil in Creature. And I got this originally with ColourPop first started. That's how long ago when I, I, you know, I've had this for a long time, but I didn't use it a lot. Like, a lot of my ColourPop Libby sticks are still in the drawer. I think I've only used the, each of them once. So I dug this out because I wore Creature like one day last week, and I decided to pair the pencil with Max um, Saint Germain, which is this pink color, which I never would wear. I just had it because I thought it was really pretty. But I would never wear it because I thought it was such a bright pink and it was too bright for me. And I didn't want to look silly wearing it. But I found if I paired it with like a brown liner or like this color, this creature is like a deep burgundy kind of liner. It looks really, really pretty. And for a little bit of glitz is the Ariana Grande Lip Glass. Um, yeah, it didn't have any, but this was from the Viva Glam collection that came out with her lipstick and lip glass makes me think I should pull out the lipstick one good time for you guys again because I haven't worn that in a while but I haven't worn it since the fall because to me it's such a fallish color but everybody tells me that I look really nice with dark vampy colors on my lips they just seem to suit me a whole lot better anyway divas that's all I have for you guys for my face of the day I hope you guys enjoyed this type of video let me know if you want to see just more face of the day videos and what I used or if you still really, really want to see my tutorials and how I achieved the look. I love you guys to the max. I hope you guys are having a fabulous weekend. And remember, 
Y'all stay fab because you know your girl is too. I see you guys in my next one. Bye.